the opening day in 2016 and the Rebels won on the opening day, Scott. 2-1 victory over Chelmsford City today. Must be delighted. Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, tired and delighted. Um, they're probably the two emotions I've got at the moment. I think uh, the first half was really disappointing. Um, the goal that we conceded was avoidable. A um, little bit of a mix, in, mix up in communication um, between myself, maybe Charlie and Henry. Um, but I think it's down to me, to be honest, because... I thought we had Henry on the post, he's ended up having to go on mark, so I've kind of not wanted to head it, um, and it's crept in the near post, so I take responsibility for that, and I would have done what we had lost the game, drawn it, won it, so um, yeah, I should probably done better um, at half-time. I started speaking to the boys, and I'll be brutally honest, I, I kind of lost it um, halfway through, and I didn't intend to do that, but when I started looking at them, I thought, it's not us, um, and had to give them a bit of a rollicking, and I think it paid dividends in the end. So I thought second half we were good value. Um, I thought we looked more like us. Um, we looked leggy, we looked energetic, we looked like we had an idea and an understanding of how we want to be. Um, and we probably could have got a couple more, um, albeit Charlie Horlock has made a couple of great saves in the first half to keep the score down. So, um, yeah, overall really, really um, happy, of course, to be a team like Chelmsford. Um, fantastic football club from top to bottom. Um, I know a lot of people there, obviously, um, the people in the, on the board, um, the manager, the assistant manager, are all good friends of mine. So they'll be up there this season, I'm sure. Um, so for us to be a team like that, it's, uh, it, shows, it shows that we've started well. Like you said, second half was a lot better. What wasn't quite clicking for you in the first half? I think the distances, we didn't get our press right um, and that was the one thing that we really struggled with. We didn't win enough second balls, all the fundamentals. I thought Ryan Blackman for them in the first half was, was superb to be honest. Um, and then in the second half when he went off, it was probably a bit of a blessing because he's an excellent footballer. I think he's one of the best midfielders in the league. So when he went off, I said to Henry and Leon, we've got a chance here um, because he is their glue. Um, so yeah, I think we sort of stepped on a little bit. Uh, we went to a back four half through the first half. Um, they played a different shape to what we expected as well, so it kind of caught us out. And then when we went to a back four, um, we probably didn't have the personnel with me being at right back. Um, but I've played there a lot in my career, um, so I've, I thought I'm the only one that can kind of move to that right back position. And yeah, we got through in the end. You mentioned Charlie's save, the one I think it's the last five minutes towards the end of that first half, one on one with uh, Freddie Hockey. Definitely has kept us in the game today, hasn't it? Yeah, of course it has. I'm delighted for Charlie. Um, He's been a breath of fresh air since he's come into the football club. Um, made a hell of a save um, to keep us in the game because when it goes 2-0, I think the way that we were feeling at the time, it probably um, knocks us for six and I don't think we get back into it. So massive credit to Charlie, huge part of today's win. Um, but then I could go for everyone in the second half, including the subs that came on, thought the impact they had uh, was huge. Um, obviously Slavy getting his two goals as well, um, delighted for him. He probably played second fiddle last season to Nathan. Um, but this season, he's a, he's a big player for us. Um, in my opinion, I think he's got a really high ceiling. I think he can do really well for the football club. And I'm delighted for him today to get his two goals. I also think there's probably some appreciation for one of the substitutes today, John Uber, who I think made a big impression around the ground. What did you think of his performance today? It's really difficult to leave the subs on the bench. Um, everyone's done well in pre-season. It's been really tricky, but we've got yeah, we've got a really difficult selection when we come when it comes to our wide man, uh, our wide men, or wide centre forwards, whatever you want to call them. Um, Gary and John, I thought, were both brilliant when they came on. Um, John obviously had an impact for the the first goal. Um, so yeah, you could go throughout the whole team. Gills's delivery for the for the set piece, for Slavy's head. I thought Alexis and Baylor's really come to the fore in the second half. Jammers was solid. Leon, he worked his socks off. So um, it's really difficult to single people out. And um, we'll never ever win a game in this football club by ourselves. So it's going to always take a team effort, um, collective effort. And I think that's exactly what it was today. Um, when it got back to one all, um, I probably would have taken a point. But we've got some momentum at this club at the moment in terms of when we play at home. Um, it's obviously 24 games unbeaten now, which is it's just it's so bizarre when the four games before that, we lost every single one of them. But delighted to get off the board today um, and get three points. Um, it allows us to go to Salisbury next week with a real confidence about us um, and I can't wait for it now. Just quickly about the, the set pieces, uh, we saw it come to fruition with the second goal but there was a few around in the game itself. Is there a few little tactical um, tweaks being made to set pieces that have been made? Yeah, it's actually interesting you say that. So um, we've given the respons responsibility to Alex Wines um, to become set piece coach. Um, I don't know if we're trying to copy the Premier League or anything like that but you hear about them these days. And Wines, he's um, a student of the game. Um, he really does, um, yeah, he's fully invested in what he does with goalkeepers. And I just said to him when we, we had dinner at the back end of last season, um, I'd love for you to be set-piece coach and really focus on that. Um, so massive credit to Wines, he's come up with a few different corners, some new ones. 
Um, but yeah, the delivery was spot on from Gilps. Um, so yeah, no, massive credit to obviously YNZ. It's important that we all play our role. Um, you can talk about Chrissy Yeller, Alex that's joined us as well um, as assistant coach. It's, it's never about myself or one of the players. It's, it's every single one of us in the changing room. And you've already started off early yourself that crossbar hit after that free kick as well. Would be nice. Yeah, I was gutted, Con. I thought it was in. Um, but listen, I don't care about who scores the goals as long as we win. If I never scored another goal for the Slough Town Football Club, we win football matches, that's all that matters. So, um, yeah, just delighted to get through through today. Obviously, win 2-1, win uh, play a part myself. I've not played more than 45 minutes all pre-season, so it really did test me. So, um, yeah, I'll sleep well tonight, um, especially after a great great result against a really good football club. So, it's an already improved start over last season, which has been well known already. Um, look forward to playing against a side we're already quite familiar with from last year in Salisbury away. Uh, what are your thoughts already looking towards that game? Yeah, really good football club yet again. Um, they've got an identity, they know how they want to play. Um, the managers got them really well coached. Um, we obviously had a really difficult day down there last season, um, so we know it's not going to be easy. I think the four sides that have come up um, are really good football clubs. Um, so yeah, there's no easy games in this league. I've spoken to various managers in the past few weeks, who's going to be the bottom four, and no one dare say who's going to be. It's hard to pick four teams in your head that are worse than you, because um, everyone's obviously erring on the side of caution. Um, but the quicker the teams and clubs can get to 50 points, um, I'm not saying you can take your foot off the gas and relax, but it certainly does help. So that'll be our first target. We've got 47 more to go. I know it's so cliche, but um, we did it last season in a, in a really nice manner, um, and hopefully, Hopefully now we can pick up some more points um, in the next few games. Well, thank you again for your thoughts, Scott. Congratulations on the opening day win, and we will see you next weekend at Salisbury. Cheers, Connor. Thanks very much.